Just finally, if you beat Arsenal, the three teams above you aren't playing, you could be fifth going into the international break, which would be quite something, wouldn't it, and a testament to the way you're playing. Yeah, definitely. And one thing for sure, of course, we'll go for the win. Uh, we try to do that in every game. Um, so uh, that will not change for, for Sunday. We are playing against a very good side. Uh, what, one thing was when we beat them in the first game a year ago, I, I think they, they were not in the same place as they were here. It was still a, a fantastic win for, for Brentford against a massive club uh, as Arsenal and, and, and top players. Another thing would be doing it on Sunday that would be completely different because I think Arsenal is, for me now, after City, the second best performing team in the, in the Premier League. Maybe in spells, they may maybe been the, the best performing teams the first six games. I think they've been remarkable, I think the intensity they play with. I watched the first 20 minutes, I watched a lot of games of them, but I, I, I not live, but I remember I sat there Friday night, uh, opening uh, day of the season, watching uh, them against uh, Crystal Palace and I was thinking, what? That's another level. The first 20 minutes, Crystal Palace, they didn't touch the ball. Uh, and I thought, okay, they, they, they can win Premier League, this team. And then, of course, you know, a game is 90 minutes, but I think they've been fantastic. Uh, I think the, the players are growing. I think they, um, they got the, um, the right players in. I know he came back, Saliba, uh, uh, Jesus, fantastic signing. And I think uh, Ødegaard, uh, the way he plays this moment in time, may Maybe the best ball. Oh, he's. I know De Bruyne is a decent player, but he's not far after him, Ødegaard, in, in, in terms of performances. So that, that's a top team right now. Arsenal at home, I'm sure it's a fixture that brings back very fond memories for you. But how different a game are you expecting this time, just over a year on? Um, I, I, I expect. Uh, hopefully not too different, <laughs> but. Uh, now, as, as I said, uh, Arsenal this moment in time, they're, they're top performing. I think they are really having momentum. Uh, their key players are in, in, in a very good place. So I expect us to suffer a lot in spells. I said that to the players today. We need to be able to suffer and, and manage to defend very well. Uh, hopefully as high up the pitch as possible, but it can be below and deep. Uh, but if we do that, then, then and I'm convinced we'll have our opportunities um, throughout the game. But uh, it'll be a, a, it do, no doubt that this will be our biggest challenge so far this season. Mikel Arteta has just been named Premier League manager of the month for August. Hasn't been easy for him uh, those last manager goals. What's have you made of the job that he's done? Very impressive. Um, no doubt that he. Uh, had um, uh, a troubled start last season, and, and I'm just so happy that you know there was definitely a, a lot of things and rumors and talks and press. That, ah, you know, is he under pressure? But uh, you know, he's done well the, the season before. He's part of building something, and he and his coaching staff just proved that they have done uh, well, and the um, and the board and uh, b behind him have uh, done well in terms of they consist consistently are consistent in the, in the the way they work and now they have building building a team that is young very exciting good players in the key positions so i think he's done a a top job and in, in that stage also a little bit of a transformation transition uh, from former managers uh, so creating his old culture maybe getting rid of some players getting new players in so i think very impressive just touching on Arsenal, uh, we mentioned a bit earlier about the kind of team talks that Mikel Arteta demonstrated in the documentary. For the reverse against Brentford last year in February, he used a tweet from Ivan in which he said he enjoyed having a kick out of the ball this half you did in August. Do you think that's something that will kind of bother him? Do you think that's extra motivation for him? Uh, what, the, the last year? He, he, so, I understand the tweet, but you say what what is bothering who? Arteta? It was a future documentary Yeah. Like a showing him up before. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You need to ask uh, Mikel about that. Um, I think we all use different ways to try to, to motivate the team, so yeah. No problem for me.